Hey guys, welcome to Dinah Beach. This is the boat ramp area uh, and the car park. So first I'll just show you the car park because we usually come here and this car park is huge for Darwin. So there's heaps of spots for parking your trailers and your cars when you come. Um, so you'll pretty much always get a spot. The only time it might be a bit tough is during public holidays or long weekends because um, people go out for a long period of time but other than that like we always get a spot here um, very rarely have to park down further so this is why it's a good spot um, we can also get in at like any tide because we have a channel so I'll show you the channel so if you can see through here the sun's not too bright um, all those masts in the water that's sticking out yeah so there's a channel so basically our tinny can get in at oh, I think about a meter at about a meter it can get in whereas um, if, at east arm we can only get in if it's about four meter tide ish and then that's only if we're going out into the ocean um, so it's a nice spot, I'll show you around. What I like about Dinah Beach boat ramp is um, I like to fish off just the land here at high tides. Um, as you can see you should probably use poppers and stuff because it's uh, pretty tangled in there. But um, you can catch some barra if you're lucky or if you're good. Um, just off the land here at high tides or if you've got slightly older kids or anything like myself you can come down at low tide and you can collect all the sinkers the lures the hooks that you are uh, lost or someone else lost and couldn't retrieve so that's always fun and I'll show you the boat ramp area So this is the preparation area, so you see boats just pull up, they'll um, prepare their boat for launch and then they'll go down the boat ramp for launch. This is another nice fishing spot off the land, I'll just show you here, stick it down, there we go, oh look at that, hang on, so the water comes right up during a high tide. Comes up pretty high on the rocks. Here. And then over this way, you can see the boat ramp. So you're not allowed to fish from the pontoons that you walk out on. Um, some people do. You're not allowed to, and you're not allowed to store your boats there, but some people live on their boats and they do it anyway. So, what can you do? And then this is another spot to fish during high tide. And you'll catch some fish around here. And it's a nice view to look at. Um, and it gets nice and cool during the end of the day. But you will need bug spray. And there are all the boats out there. So the boat ramp itself is like textured for more grip. Um, there's two lanes, so left and right, 
so if you can do two launches at the same time and then this is the pontoon so uh, it, and it floats up depending on how high the tide is and looks like they're struggling with their engine so that's fun and they're turning around into the shallow end <laughs> so yeah um, so that's Dinda Beach boat ramp um, we always launch off here it's a nice spot and we go into Side Groves Creek which you can see in some of our other videos um, hopefully watch the ones where we have any luck and oh it smells like bad fish okay yep should be lucky you can't smell that we're gonna see you next time Bye.